Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all okay. I've come up to Wernerthlow today, which is just treacherous with this snow, but it's it's passable at least, it wasn't the other day. So I wanted to do a bit of an update up here today on the phone box video I did about four weeks ago. So I posted a video about three or four weeks ago on this mystery telephone box and what the word means in the pane of glass on the top. It's only on the one side, the other three just say telephone. And it sparked a bit of a debate and a bit of a discussion in the comments by you guys and also on Twitter as well. And I thought I'd just read you a couple um, and give you an update. I don't think it's the update that we were looking for, but it is an update nonetheless. So, um, Ram Alaska says, Google thinks it's Maltese, uh, he thinks it could be Welsh. Seraphin 2012 said it could be Manx or Cornish. Um, I had a look on translators and the sort of majority of the votes on translations pointed towards Polish, but um, nothing came through, so I think we can rule out um, translator. Um, it's the first two letters, uh, Chris Pive says it's the first two letters and last two letters of telephone, so the TE and the NE, but it looks like the screenwriter didn't have enough correct letters to complete the job, so they filled in with JR, JW, which could be a possibility. Uh, it could be their initials on the last telephone sign ever done, who would ever notice, and if they did, it was pre internet days then anyway. I think that's that's a valid point. Um, you never know. Steve Jones said I used to work for BT and even worked upgrading phone boxes for a while, and have not come across ones with Gaelic, Manch or Manx or Welsh signs. They used to have telephone on most of them, or defibrillator, or library, or post office. So um, that's a strange one. Uh, Kevin at BT Care. So I tweeted BT. Um, he says I can't help. I'm I'm afraid. Do a Google search. Um, and then finally, David Hay, Head of Heritage and Archives at BT, says, I've made inquiries, but no explanation, uh, a mystery to us also. Can only presume that someone local took it upon themselves and is enjoying the bafflement. Enjoying the bafflement. I'm not really convinced on that one. Um, so, yeah, it's a mystery. I re really don't know what to suggest. Um, I think we've sort of reached a dead end here. Uh, finally, Sam Glame says, um, hi Sam as well if you're watching, says, um, reverse google the telephone number from inside the box and see if that brings anything up so i remember when we went in the telephone number was it was actually on the phone box so what we'll do is we'll just go and make a note of it and we'll have another quick look inside and then i can just reverse google that and see if anything um if anything comes about so we're going to have a quick look in the phone box see what we can see okay so we're back in the phone box now and you can see the number there uh, 161. So it's quite faded, it's quite hard to tell what it actually is. But we can um, pick up. Oh. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Well, how do you know who I am? I'm, I'm just. Yeah, I'm just. I'm doing an update video on the strange word that's written on the side, that's all. What do you mean? Well, I'm not doing any any harm, am I? It's, it's only going out on a, a tiny YouTube channel. Yeah, I know some things aren't meant to be tampered with. Yeah, I know things are kept secret for a reason. But I'm not going to do any harm, am I? I don't think making threats is is the way to solve anything, is it? <laughs> 